Sir Keith Marshall, Regional Air Product Leader, thank you for this opportunity, sir. Thank you sir, very much. Sir, I'd like to get your thoughts first on this uh, summit. How important is this for the industry? I think it's extremely important that, uh, that the industry gets together at a senior level, um, really to discuss the challenges facing the industry and logistics as a whole, um, and in particular with a focus on, on air freight, really. Um, and, uh, and it's extremely important to do so in person because a lot of the business um, and the interactions take place on a one-on-one -on -one basis outside of the main hall. Uh, and then, of course, when we're attending the, uh, the, the plenary sessions, it's extremely valuable for us to hear what industry and others are thinking uh, about what's happening at the moment. Uh, okay, you're in the region leader for air product. Could you tell us more about this? What, what uh, sort of services do we offer? Absolutely. So as an organization, we're, a, we're what's known as a third-party logistics provider. Uh, we provide contract logistics services. Uh, we provide warehousing and ground transportation, and then ocean and air services. Uh, my role in particular is to focus on the growth and development of the Middle East and Africa region, uh, in particular for air freight. Um, and what we're looking at is how we grow the region in conjunction with our global network. So there's a lot of global trade. Uh, Dubai and uh, the GCC region is really known as a central hub region. Uh, and so what we're looking at doing is seeing not only how can we facilitate trade into and out of uh, the Middle East, but also through the Middle East to service the rest of the world. I see. And how important is this region to avoid further disruption in the supply chain, you think? Yeah, I, th I think it's extremely uh, important because it's quite central. So you can reach uh, by ocean, you can reach uh, this region quite quickly uh, out of the main manufacturing markets. And even if uh, manufacturing would move from mainland China to surrounding countries uh, and even India as, an, as, as a manufacturing country, product can reach uh, Dubai quite easily uh, as well as Abu Dhabi as well as all of the GCC countries essentially uh, and then from there it can be shipped onwards to another location. So not only for through movement but also for storage, uh, product can be stored in this region quite easily and from here it can reach the rest of the world almost on a direct basis because of the investment that has been made by governments, airlines uh, and port operators essentially. Given that situation, do you look uh, to further hiring more people and, and how do you retain talent for that matter? Oh, absolutely. So as an organization, we've been growing year on year uh, within this region. Uh, we're now represented in most of, uh, of, of the major countries. Uh, so we have representation and offices in Oman, we have in Bahrain, we have in Abu Dhabi, we have in Qatar, we have in Dubai, uh, Saudi Arabia as well uh, as, as an organization we represented. Uh, and we're continually growing that footprint. Um, and with that growth then comes growth in people as well. Right. How do we retain our talent? Uh, really through training um, and by challenging our individuals. So we are consistently focusing on developing the capabilities of our staff. Um, and really the, the people that enjoy working in our, in our organization are constantly looking to grow as well and find better, smarter ways to do things. Okay, great. Thank you so much, sir.